Hey everybody, it's Mike. I want to explain to you how we're using what we call red mist cycles in our training. Uh, so generally we're using these uh, so-called red mist cycles uh, in our red mist endurance sessions, which are every Friday mornings. Uh, and then we're starting to use them a little bit uh, here or there on say a technique endurance session on a Tuesday, uh, as well as a uh, threshold development or CSS session on, uh, we have those currently on Thursdays. But a few weeks ago I explained to you the how we're using the Tempo Trainer Pro as a pacing device for your CS, based off of your CSS pace, your critical swim speed pace or we use the term interchangeably CSS or threshold pace, okay? And I explained to you how we use that to, to beep for you. You put this little beeper up underneath your swim cap and it beeps every 25 meters to hold you to a certain pace. So if you swim out, if you start off too fast, and you get yourself ahead of the beep, let's say, at the 25 meter marker, you know that you need to slow yourself down. Uh, conversely, if during a longer swim, you find yourself getting behind it slightly, uh, then you know you have to pick up the pace, okay? That's using our, uh, the, your CSS pace and using the beeper set to beep every 25 meters. I'm gonna explain to you today how we use this to beep every 50 meters with a little bit of a catch there. It's not quite 50 meters, okay? So let me explain this. So RM cycles work like this. The easiest way to determine your RM cycles always always start and you should know this what always start with your CSS pace so let's say for example uh, and if uh, if you want to pause this or replay this come back and I'm gonna give you an example come back and rewatch it so you can work the math out uh, it's not super complicated but so that you can work it out for your own CSS pace so watch this let's say to make the math easy your CSS pace your threshold pace is two minutes per 100 two minutes per 100. So your CSS pace equals two minutes per 100 right there. All right. Uh, the way we come to your RM cycle is this. We take two minutes, we divide that in half. We divide that by two, so that's easy. That's one minute per 50 now, one minute per 50. Then what we do, here's an example. So in tomorrow morning's uh, Red Mist and endurance session we're gonna start off our first part of our workout at RM7 so the cycle 7 or the cycle time is RM cycle 7 what does that mean okay so we're gonna take your CSS pace divide that by 2 and then we're gonna add 7 seconds to that so that should be 1 minute 7 seconds what we do is we take your Tempo Trainer Pro flip it over into mode 2 push and hold the top button repeatedly until it flashes up at number two. Then you know you're, you're in mode two. And you can see right there, I have it set to one minute, seven seconds. Put this up underneath your swim cap. It's now going to beep every one minute and seven seconds. So in the very first part of our workout here, we have eight by 50 on our RM cycle seven. What's that gonna feel like? So you put that in, you're gonna, you're gonna set off on your very first 50. At the same time you set off, you push your button here just to resync it. At the end of 50 meters, you're gonna be well ahead of the beeper. Well ahead of the beeper. That amount of time between when you finish that 50 meters and then you hear the beep again is the amount of rest that you get, okay? We do the same thing. We keep it just the same for these four by 100s here. Here's what you will experience. You'll set off on the very first 100, sinking the beeper as you set off on the very first 100. You'll go through the 50 meter mark. At some time, point in time after the 50 meter marker, you're gonna hear it beep while you're swimming. It is gonna go beep, beep, beep. You'll complete the 100. And then when you hear the very next beep is when you set off on the second 100. So you will be essentially gaining time. Here's the real test, and here's why you just need to go out and try this. Because our next part, an option two here of our workout, we do two by 400. So at the beginning of the 400, you're gonna resync the beeper as you set off, and then 
every time you complete a length of the pool in a 50 meter pool, you will incrementally be gaining time or getting ahead of the beeper. At the end of that first 400 interval, the gap or the amount of time between when you heard the last beep and when you finished the 400 becomes the amount of rest that you get. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, if it doesn't make sense, go back and rewatch this. For part two of our, of our workout tomorrow, we adjust it to RM5. So all that means is we go from 107 down to, to 105. That is RM cycle five. So it's gonna, you're still, you're still gonna be beating the beeper. You will just, depending on how fast or slow you're swimming, you will still accumulate amount, some rest at the end of each of these intervals here. Okay, it'll just be perhaps a little bit less rest. So our Red Mist Endurance session that we have tomorrow, we have a set here, we have an entire, an entire workout that goes like this where we, we gradually uh, decrease the amount of rest you get, but increase these longer intervals that you have to do uh, as we go through the workout, okay? Very, very much simulating what you feel during a long distance open water swim. In this case, in uh, 40, 4,800 or 4,200 meters here, in either of these options, very, very close to an Ironman distance swim right there. So there's very, very minimal rest throughout the whole set, throughout the whole 90 minute session that we will have, but it very much simulates what it's like to start out at a very controlled effort, like we wanna do in a race, and then finish, also finish at a very strong effort. By the time we get down here, where we've accumulated or we're, we're upwards of around 3,000 meters or so, we have some fatigue kind of start to set in, but we also have our tempo trainer letting you know, letting us know, hey, we still need to push the pace, or hey, here's where your pace is at, so that, so that we have a, so that we can start to develop a sense of pace awareness, okay? Over time, by repeating workouts like this over the course of several weeks, you will develop this innate sense of uh, pace awareness, as we call it. And that is one of the key open water skills that you want to develop as a triathlete or open water swimmer. All right, so I hope that uh, helps explain the RM cycles just a little bit. Go back, rewatch this, plug in your own numbers. So rather than, it, uh, rather than your CSS pace starting at uh, two minutes per 100, maybe it's 150, one minute 50 seconds per 100. Divide that by two, that's 55 seconds per 100 and then plug in the distances. So in essence, you would at RM7, you would start off at 102 on, on your beeper in mode two, all right? So go back, rewatch this, hope this, uh, hope this helps.